Black and Right is sponsored by the family and in memory of Ruth Steinau, a true American patriot. President Obama told us several times that without passage of the economic stimulus bill, the United States would lose over 50,000 jobs a day. Funny how much of the stimulus doesn't kick in till 2010, which just happens to be a midterm election year. So instead of giving $1 trillion to irresponsible state governments and special interest groups, what would have happened if the money was split up and given to the people who put it there in the first place? Let's say every taxpayer got a check for $35,000. It seems to me the immediate effect would be the strengthening of our financial institutions because everyone who was behind on their mortgages and in danger of foreclosure could have been brought up to date and many would have enough to cover their mortgages for a few months while the economy began to heal. People would have money to put down on a car, thus drastically reducing dealer inventory. Jobs would have been created to meet the demand and automakers would have seen a jump in orders and parts. People would be working and their companies wouldn't need bailouts. Now imagine all those students who could pay off their entire two to four years at community colleges and put a good dent in their debt for the larger ones. More people going to colleges mean fewer teachers being laid off and shrinking endowments. The poor could pay their rent, buy food and clothes, pay their utilities and weather the economic downturn until they could find new jobs. Imagine the homeless that would have the money to get a motel room and have a warm place to drink on those cold winter nights. But the bad news for Democrats is that with all the commerce that would ensue with the people having the ability to spend our money, the revenues coming back into local, state, and federal coffers would be mind-boggling. But hey, what do I know? I'm just ordinary people. I'm not one of the brightest and smartest working in government. This is purely a political money grab designed specifically to centralize power, create and maintain government dependency, reward certain constituencies, punish others, and perpetuate partisan control for the foreseeable future. For those of you who supported the president and his plan, while you're waiting for the economy to turn around, look at the numbers and imagine how $35,000 could have changed the lives of you and your family and the president and Congress that would never think of letting that happen. This is Bob Parks, Black and Right, and you can read my columns and or watch my YouTube videos online. See you next week at the same time on 97.3 FM WJDF.